Hi, I'm Andy Roberts and I'm a field architect for Solid Fire working out of our office in London. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about data assurance and how it's a bit wider maybe than some of the, uh, some of the ways you might think about it traditionally. Data assurance, I think, really involves more than just thinking about storage, how you actually store your data. It's about how you compute or process that data, how your network then moves that data around, and then finally, how you store that data and get the benefits from that information that you actually store it down there on disks. Really also about how you can have 24 by 7 access to that data, how you can, get, uh, how you can keep those flows going all of the time. And so in your complete compute layer, you think about technologies such as DRS, technologies such as vMotion that can move things around seamlessly between different compute hosts to keep that processing going on, to be able to keep getting those insights and the value from that data. For the network, it's about having resilient and, resilient and different multiple paths to keep that data moving around wherever it's going up and down and in your stack. And then for storage, I think about it's having functions built into the storage that can move the data seamlessly between sites, however you need to do it, asynchronously, synchronously, to be able to take the data out and move it seamlessly in and out of a cloud as you start to grow and build your infrastructure outside what lives inside your data center. And then being able to install it encrypted at rest so you know that it's protected and guaranteed within the system. Thanks for listening today. My name's Andy Roberts.